Alright YouTube, uh, this is going to be kind of a tough video, but I'm going to give it my best. This is, I'm going to be going over all of my detailing supplies. Um, as you can see, there's quite a bit, so I'm just really going to run through everything. I'm not going to go into too much detail about nothing. Um, if you have any questions, you know, feel free to ask afterwards, and uh, if there's enough interest, I can always make a separate video of say you know only interior products or exterior products or so on and so forth but uh yeah let's get going <clears throat> we'll start off with the uh compounds buffing compounds this is the uh, chemical guys 32 34 36 38 um let's see the 36 is very good uh, that's probably like the go-to one. It's middle of the road. It has cut. Uh, 38 really doesn't have much cut. That's more of a polish. It's a fine grade polish. But uh, yeah, they're all right. Um, I don't have too much experience with with uh, a lot of other brands to really compare them against. But they're pretty good. I like them. Um, all in one. This is really good. Uh, it's a sealant all in one. Uh, it's like a light, light cutting compound. Uh, I like that a lot. Uh, VSS, also from Chemical Guys. A uh, little more heavier cut. Um, you're probably, depending on the color of the car, like a white car, you could probably use this, no problem, uh, with a rotary or a, or a DA. Uh, Gloss Works Glaze, also from Chemical Guys, it's just, it's a glaze. Um, same thing with Black Light, is also a glaze. Uh, both of them work very good. I uh, think I got this one for free, that's why I have Black Light in this. But uh, also, White Light from Chemical Guys. Uh, I have kind of mixed feelings on that, but uh, it seems to do a little bit. Then, of course, I have uh, Jet Seal their sealant, chemical guy sealant. Um, you know, I just got this stuff less than a year ago, so I can't say on durability over a year. I know I, I put it on my cars and they still look great. Uh, both of these, um, this, both of these are car wash. This, this one separates, it's the uh, chemical guys, the citrus washing gloss, and this is the gloss works glaze car wash. Uh, just keep them in smaller containers because they have gallon sizes up there. So uh, these are good for day-to-day uh, -day uses. Uh, going from here, Tornado. Uh, if you guys don't know what this is, check it out. Uh, it's mostly for interior. You hook it up to an airline, a little bit of water, and it shoots out and spins. It works pretty good you know it's not the greatest thing in the world but I like it a lot it is pricey but uh, it's good uh, foam cannon uh, for a pressure washer um, if you watch my last video you see my pressure washer that I have nothing special it's still an electric guy um, this is the Benny K foam sprayer uh, I got this before the foam cannon before I was really using the pressure washer that much but this does work good if you don't have a pressure washer, um, but not quite as good as a foam gun. Uh, this is the uh, Nano Skin sponge. It's like a clay bar sponge. Uh, works really good. Not as good as a true clay bar, but still pretty good. Um, clay ice kit. Uh, they don't even make this anymore. This is my real world old kit. Um, well, the one thing I do like about this kit is it has a uh, liquid clay for, I like using that for, say, areas with heavy wax buildup or something like that. Squirt it on a microfiber cloth and just rub it, and uh, it comes off pretty good, but the clay is really good, too. Uh, P21S Carnuba Wax, 100% Carnuba. Uh, this stuff's pretty good. A little on the pricier side for wax, you know, comparing to like your normal 
Home De or not Home Depot, uh, Pet Boys and you know auto parts store wax. I think it was like sixty bucks, but it's really good. Alright then finish up this shelf. We have Meguiar's Endurance Tire Gel. You can get this at a lot of stores. Works really good. It's it's oil based, so it'll last I mean, it'll look great for a week, good for two weeks, then start tapering off towards the third week. Uh, then a little applicator for it. Um, <clears throat> starting up here, I'll, well, I'll, hit, I'll hit these first. We have Sonax, or at least that's how I say it, wheel cleaner, uh, full effect stuff, best you can buy. Uh, I have a gallon, so it'll last me a long time. Um, this is uh, Chemical Guys. One, one of our glass cleaners, I forget which one it is. It's, glass works. Uh, works good. It's dilutable. It's like, uh, didn't write, I think it's like 5 to 1, something like that. Dilute it. Works good. Uh, chemical guys. Um, man, I'm not bad with names. V07, just in a smaller bottle. I have a gallon up there. Uh, up top is pretty much like all my extra stuff, bigger bottles, uh, stuff that's diluted, extra pads. Um, this is a applicator I haven't used yet. Uh, another cutting pad, uh, extra squeeze heads. Um, got the Meguiar's heavy duty decreaser. Um, the citrus washing gloss. Um, but yeah. Oh, and foam sponges, uh, microfiber sponges. All right. Now let's go. Uh, this is four to one. Uh, heavy duty degreaser by McGuire's. Works really good. Uh, nonsense all purpose cleaner. Uh, 12 to one. Uh, works good. Um, you know, they're two totally different things. That's why uh, I have them. This is, this is, you know, as the title says, super degreaser. But uh, it also works on for like very heavy stains. Um, chemical guys, waterless wash. Uh, this also dilutable. Um, I forget what I diluted it. It says it on the bottle. Um, all right. Uh, serenium oxide it's for glass polishing um, glass, uh, glass polishing pads uh, these are by Groits or Grios however you say it. Uh, this is one of those two dollar clay bars that you find on Amazon and Ebay Worthless. Do not buy it. I don't even know why I have it right now. I should probably throw it out. I actually did throw it out, pulled it out of the trash. Hoping to use it on like wheels or something I actually don't give a crap about. Hoping that it would do something and be worth something. But I haven't yet. Um, chemical Guys Black on Black. Great for en anything in the engine bay, plastics. Um, I haven't tried it on wheels. I don't know. I don't think you're supposed to do it on wheels, but engine bay definitely. That's all I use it for is engine bay. Um, this is the uh, VR VRP dressing by Chemical Guys. Um, just a little squeeze bottle, pop top. Um, you can also use this on wheels, plastics. Um, use it on dash. Works really good on that. Um, you know, you do like one wipe on the dash, have like a real, real shine to it, do a second wipe and it dulls it down real nice. A lot of other products don't do that that well, this does. Um, this is one of my older Turtle Wax, uh, for interior. I 
there's like this much left in it. I'm just uh, holding, holding on to it to get rid of it. Um, Meguiar's leather sealer kit. Uh, I, I this is this is a tough one because it worked, but was it necessary? I I, I don't know. Um, I've, I used it one time. I've been debating on using it again. I'm not sure. But. Then start getting into microfibers. These are my thicker ones here. Silk line chemical guys. Um, these are waffle weave. Um, I think I just got these on on Amazon. But I use these for like glass and stuff. They work pretty well. And more chemical guys. Um, these are their green workhorse. Work really good. Um, these are all my polishing pads for the DA. Not all of them. I have extras up top. But these are the ones I use. Uh, I wrote on the back like finish wax. Um, sealer, uh, glaze, light polish, uh, medium polish. I, li I actually like this pad a lot. Then this, or not polish, medium cut. Then this is your your medium to heavy cut, they call it. Um, this works really good too. This, I mean, this is a grade lighter than the softer than the orange one. Right here in this red bag, I have um, my wet sanding supplies. I have a foam block and uh, this random little foam block uh, works pretty good. Then, you know, this is 3,000, uh, 4,000, 5,000, and I think like 2,500 and 2,000. So, um, Tune Bright Aluminum Polish uh, works pretty good. I was actually just doing my exhaust tip right there before I did this video. And uh, my buddy gave me this. Don't know how much it costs. Um, so based on, I like to recommend things based on price versus value. So since I don't know how much this costs, I can't really recommend it for the price. But uh, it works pretty good. I mean, I've, I've seen other people say that aluminum polishes are all kind of the same, so I'll put it in there. Um, Eagle One Never Dull, it's like a uh, wadding polish. Um, this stuff works alright for what it is, but uh, I don't use this too much. Wires NX Tech Wax. Uh, this is what I used to use before I got the uh, P21S. Uh, works good. Um, I don't. Uh, it feels just not quite as good as the wires than a uh, foam pad, microfiber pad, then a little holder. I like this little holder. Um, the the P21S comes with its own little. A little like foam grippy thing. That's pretty good too. Uh, over here, since I skipped this, this is a uh, 50/50 water alcohol to wipe down a car before you uh, put a sealant or a wax on it. Uh, pad conditioner. Uh, this is just some dish soap with uh, water. Uh, I use this for like final leaks on. Uh, tires and stuff like that instead of using my good products. I can just use this Then these just have water in them um, for different things then I'm gonna skip this scotch guard um, If you're doing any sort of detailing these are, this is a great thing there are other things that work like this scotch guard, but uh, this is why I use uh, 
car car scents. Stripper scent by Chemical Guys. Uh, by far their most popular. And the reason being is it smells great. Uh, lasts not that long, but uh, you know, do a detail car, spray this in someone's car, and they'll they'll be loving it. Trust me. Uh, leather scent and new car smell. Then to bring it down. Um, right there on the on the far left, that's my uh, dual action polisher. Porter cable, 7424XP. This has the uh, three inch pad on it. I also have the standard five inch pad here. Uh, I like this for doing headlights and stuff. That was the last thing I did was a set of headlights. This is my rotary I just got. It's a uh, Harbor Freight special. Um, I can't really recommend it. The uh, the RPMs fluctuate a little bit too much, and it's quite annoying. But luckily, I don't use it that much. I've only used it one time, so I wasn't really trying to spend $150 on a on a good one. Then here. It's the uh, Chemical Guys Rolling um, Bucket Holster. Two buckets from my two bucket method. Then third bucket with, um, I, I like this in my original wash pad, uh, microfiber little fingers on it and scrubby side for bugs and stuff. That works really good. Uh, the Chemical Guys um, big micro, microfiber wash mitt. Then I got, this is like a, a flag tip brush, I think it's called. I uh, use this on the wheels. More like you're running on mill wheels, not anything crazy. Like some of these guys with $5,000 wheels, I don't use, I wouldn't never use that on them. But then to uh, finish up my wheel bucket, I got wheel woolies. Uh, use this one the most. Really good, it has a nice handle to get in the, in the wheel well. And uh, yeah, don't. This I, I like this one for like big brake calipers like on my Infinity I use this today. Um, sprayed some Sonax on it, then got in there between the caliper and the uh, and the and the wheel itself. And you know of course I have grit guards in them. Uh, the bucket caddy. Got a bunch of brushes in it. Uh, got my hard, hard bristle brush, uh, boar's hair brush, rubber brush, uh, little toothbrushes and stuff. And uh, this is this is the smock. Then the jack, and yeah, that's about it.